Hello everyone, my name is Abulon and welcome to another video. In today's video, we are going on Lao N. We're going to count on top 10 best games you can play very well on Lao N PC in 2024. And if you're interested in games and a story of creation of them, you can simply click on subscribe button and ring the bell to get notified for my next video. Let's dive to the video. Number 10, Valheim. Welcome to the land between worlds. In Valheim, you play as a viking now deceased and working towards valhalla valheim takes place in purgatory and it is up to you to defeat the various gods of the realm valheim will have you and your friends collecting resources building incredible bases and try to survive the various biomes you must level up and survive an onslaught of enemies slowly becoming strong enough to defeat the gods and take their power this is a wonderfully immersive game best played with your other low end PC friends. <laughs> Number nine, Stardew Valley. You know, Stardew Valley is not something you know you wanted to talk about every video because it can fit in our Evler list. But Stardew Valley released back in 2016 and it is Farm Simulator and you have some fun to play solo and with your friends in your low end PCs. Number eight, Risk of Rain 2. For high octane games that can easily run over most low end PC setups, you could do a lot worse than picking up a copy of Risk of Rain 2. This game has created something unique and can be easily a best over. Alone or with friends, it is up to you to defeat the various bosses of the realms you enter. On your journey, you will pick up many wild and wonderful power-ups, eventually becoming destructive force. Your base character determines just how each one works. Just rest assured, now game is ever the same. Number 7. Hotline Miami Both Hotline Miami 1 and 2 are masterpieces of modern gaming. The top down slaughter fest is as fast and intense as gaming gets. It is up to you to shoot, slash and hammer your way through enemies, doing your best to survive. Every foe can one-tap you and your reactions need to be lightning fast. The game's simple graphics along with the intense gameplay and soundtrack make this perfect for any low end PC setups. Number 6. Paper Police Ever wish to live a life on an immigration officer? No? Well, you should. Papers Police set up you as an immigration officer of an Eastern Bloc type country. It is up to you to stay on top of the new regulations and your own finance. This simply yet incredibly beautiful game will have you admitting, rejecting, detaining and questioning people as they try enter through your gate. Empathy and moral dilemma all feature in this wonderful art piece by 3909. Number 5. Doom. It's Doom. And if you don't know what it is, maybe it's time to give up PC gaming altogether and go back to card games. Okay, enough. Number 4. <laughs> Terraria. A simple procedurally generated world awaits in Terraria alone or with friends. The same 60-bit 2D game invites you to mine, craft, explore and survive in a world bursting with adventures and opportunities. With over 44 million copies sold, it's one of the best successful games out there. And so, you know, the Minecraft, they have the number four all together, <laughs> Terraria and Minecraft. And number three, Cuphead. I love the art style of Cuphead and it is perfect game for low end PCs because of it. The simple side scrolling shooter game is adorned with beautiful classical cartoon graphics and amazing sound however don't let the cutesy graphics fools you this game is seriously hard alone or with friends you need to work your way through a colorful world of cuphead to defeat a side scrolling level then at the end of each is an amazingly designed boss with unique attacks and fantastic animations the game could almost be sold if it weren't so cute number two bioshock the bioshock series of games has always been on my drop player lists and I return to them over and over again despite being incredibly rich and immersive rewards you will find that you can't play all of these games up until infinite online PCs Bioshock sets up a vault under sea where science and technology are God however the heathenous folks have pushed themselves too far becoming godless mutants it's up to you to fight through them, augmenting yourself along the way, and the game is dripping in spooky atmosphere. You won't forget your first encounter with the big daddy in hurry. And number one, Project Zomboid. Yeah, indeed. 
the end is upon you as you strive to survive the zombie apocalypse. The game's basic top-down graphics are perfect for any low-end PC. However, the game's simple appearance hides as complex and deep world to explore. You and your friend wake up as a character imbued with traits and boons of your choice. Now setting off into the world, you need to search and scavenge everything you can to survive zombie hordes. As time moves on, the world slowly breaks apart. After a few days, the water will shut off and so will the electricity, food will spoil, and snow will begin to fall. All of these have effects on you and your character. If you die or get bitten, and you will many many times, you will eventually turn. However, you just start with a new character, building their skills, and eventually finding your shambling corpse. It feels weird killing your old self and wearing the clothes you died in. But that's the only way to survive. Actually, if you enjoyed this episode, I really appreciate it. You click on subscribe button to just get notified for our next video in this series. And we have a series of stories of pixels and codes. We just talk about the creation of the games and we have an episode of creation of actually Manor Lord. It's linked in the description. So my name is Abulan. Thank you for your time and effort. I will see you in the next episode.